Hiya, it's uh, Mr. Evans here. Um, this is a video looking at uh, the external environment. Um, and uh, this is the final section of uh, Unit 3.1, in which um, AQA want you to look at these factors. I'll do a video on each of the um, factors in uh, shortly, um, but I'll just give you a brief uh, overview of what the external environment is. Um, so the external environment uh, are factors that influence a business but uh, which are beyond its control. Okay. Um, now then, uh, businesses can conduct what is called a pestle analysis. Uh, political, economic, social, technological, legal, environmental. All of these are factors that will have an impact on a business um, and yet are beyond its control. So regardless of how big uh, Tesco is as an organisation, there's really very little that they can do to influence the economic environment and yet the economic environment will have a huge impact on uh, any organisation um, so yeah, so the external environment, factors that influence a business which are beyond its control. Um, I identified a pestle um, uh, aspects of the external environment, but also uh, the level of competition. Okay, the level of competition in the market. Uh, it's not um, necessarily, this is, uh, it's kind of separate to the other points because Obviously, a business can have an impact on their competition. The business will, uh, the business's actions will directly affect competition. Um, but it's useful to uh, recognise it, and AQA wants you to be aware of market conditions as well. Um, so uh, there's a mind map that uh, you know you could. Um, this would be a good topic on which to construct a mind map. There's kind of my very basic one. Um, so uh, this is a kind of exercise that I did uh, with a class where we looked at the impact of the external environment on um, uh, Marks and Spencer. Um, it could really apply to uh, most UK businesses, but just um, identifying some of those issues um, that will have an impact on a business. Okay, obviously at the moment uh, the main political issue that's affecting businesses in the UK are uh, is Brexit, the impact that, or otherwise that has that has had on consumer confidence, um, our suppliers in Europe. Um, uh, how are they responding to it? If we, we've got customers in Europe, how are they responding to it? Um, so yes, the political environment has a big impact on the business. Um, the economic environment, um, well, Brexit has led to depreciation in sterling. That drives up the cost of imported goods, but um, you know, it, it can uh, weaken the price of exports. Exports become relatively cheaper for our consumers who are buying them abroad. So um, that might have an impact on the business depending on whether it imports or exports or, or, or does both. Um, uh, interest rates were recently covered to 0 0.25, recently cut to 0.25%. I'll cover that later on. Um, you know, social trends in the UK, uh, more awareness of healthy eating, the average age of the population increasing. Um, uh, in the last 10 years or so, we saw um, a large inward migration from Eastern European countries, whether that will continue um, with what's happened with Brexit or not, I'm not sure. But those are all examples of um, events in the social um, environment that would have had an impact on business. Um, so uh, technological impacts, uh, technological factors that have affected Marks and Spencers, um, the growth of the internet, etc. Um, legal, the minimum wage has increased. Um, over the last few years, ethical and environmental concerns have become far more prominent in consumers' minds and uh, there are many green consumers out there. Um, so how does that affect uh, businesses? Um, and finally, um, particularly uh, affecting M&S, looking at some of the aspects of their um, competitors. 
Um, the point of uh, conducting a festival analysis, of course, okay, we want to analyse uh, what's going on in the external environment, but um, this is a really key tool in making strategy, decision making. Decision making is such an important point of this AS, as I went over in the first video. Um, uh, the point of conducting a festival analysis is to enable you to make decisions. Um, now, uh, the AQA do not specify that you need to know how to do a pestle analysis. Um, most of these uh, factors um, uh, will, be able, will, will, will uh, be able to be covered under those headings, but uh, the pestle analysis is uh, the traditional way of conducting an, an analysis of the external environment to enable a business to make strategic decisions um, about its future direction. So uh, that's a brief overview of the external environment.